Hello there everyone, my name is Sarsqualo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, in this video we're gonna discuss Ethereum and this is going to be the only video you really need to watch to understand what is the potential of Ethereum, whether it's a good idea to invest in Ethereum and what are we doing as traders with Ethereum right now and what has happened to my short trade on Ethereum as well. Because there is so there are so many misconceptions going around the internet saying that the merge has failed to push the price of Ethereum uh, to a new all-time high to $2,000, $3,000, whatever. So I really wanted to discuss like, you know, what is happening? Why is it going down? And what can we realistically, what is my honest and humble and really honest price target for Ethereum in 2025? So let's give it a three-year time frame. In the next three years, what is going to be the price of Ethereum? So this is what I'm going to discuss in this video. I'm going to give you real reasons behind it and my explanation, etc. Now, when it comes to the technicals, let's quickly get this out of the way before we start talking about most important stuff. And right now, we are still in bearish control, so to speak, in the terms of price action. I got kicked out of my short trade. I'm going to tell exactly why but currently again we entered here and we are still moving down so we have um, high, uh, higher low uh, lower high another lower high this was also lower high another lower high so in reality we're just you know slowly moving down so potentially we're gonna keep on moving lower and potentially uh, we're gonna see uh, you know our initial target met at about 1150 and then also uh, potentially even one thousand dollars in a short-term perspective but again uh, this is a little bit you know um, negative I understand, but this is in a short-term perspective. In a long-term perspective, I'm going to tell you exactly where it could reach and we're going to reach a certain conclusion. So uh, as of right now, uh, the reason why I got kicked out of it is because, you know, I really expected in terms of my risk and money management that I have built it for this trade. Um, uh, I was in the way that I was expecting it to move lower, but then it got pushed above um, this area right here, then it retested it here. And this area is very important because there is a big order block standing right here. So it's, it was a bit of a challenge, really. So that's why I told you guys in my Telegram channel. So join my free Telegram channel. There is a link down in the description of this video. And also, guys and girls, follow me on Twitter, um, just the verified account. And I'm doing a huge $1,000 giveaway, which is going to be announced on the 30th of September. And here are all the rules that you in a pinned, in a pinned tweet. So go and um, yeah, follow me there. So and right now, seems like we are, again, respecting these levels. This is the very important resistance beyond which, you know, anyone should really exit their short trade because the model of this uh, bear control in the short term perspective is going to be broken with a potential target of $1,400. And right now we're moving down. So it could be another interesting entry in a short trade. But for now, I'm just going to uh, stay away from it. So on uh, Ethereum, so I actually uh, left, I've taken the profit. I got the profit out of um, the exchange as well. So this is really awesome. And by the way, guys and girls, that if you've used my link down in the description, or in the pinned comment of this video, then and you've signed up now uh, using my link, then there is a 20 USDT bonus waiting for you. How to claim it on BitGit? You have to go to Reward Center, click on Reward Center, and when you use my link to sign up, then you're gonna see a bunch of bonuses here. And I see this uh, four thousand uh, dollar first deposit bonus. But if you use my link, because I didn't use my own link, <laughs> then you're gonna get up to eight thousand dollars initial deposit bonuses and other insane coupons here as well that you can claim. And then in your rewards, click my rewards, and you will see this twenty USDT sign up bonus that you've basically got because you used my link. You simply click claim, and then you will receive it in your account that you can use for your own trading. And then whatever money that you make, you know. It's, it's pretty cool because it gives you a start if you have literally zero. So use my link down below uh, in the pinned uh, comment or in the description of this video. And remember that when you're trading on BitGet, when you use my link, BitGet is going to pay you for every trade that you take in the way of rebates of your commission. And it's going to be credited directly into your spot account, which is crazy. It's amazing and use it right now. And also, I mean, if you don't want to be trading with BitGet, that's fine. There are other exchanges that I'm recommending. Bybit is also very good. And down in the description or in the pinned comment, you can claim up to 4000 $1,100 in initial deposit bonuses with Bybit and also Binance. It's pretty good as well. I mean, Binance is the biggest one. There is a $600 uh, bonus down below as well. The reason why I trade with BitGet really, they have the biggest bonuses. They have really cool copy trading platform, which I'm considering to become 
a part of. So let me know again in the comments if I should become part of this copy trading platform so you can copy my trades. But I mean, if you want, you can uh, spread out the amount of uh, exchanges you're using because I personally use at least five different exchanges, but mainly BitGit because I love BitGit. So yeah, anyway, let's move on to the main topic. And that is, you know, in the short term perspective, as I said, we have this expectation that we could potentially go to as low as like a thousand dollars or quite frankly, depending on what's going to happen with inflation. And if you haven't seen my previous video, I'm going to link it right here. Check it out because it's mega important. It's going to explain a lot like why in a short term perspective, we're going to potentially see so much pain and even something in this vicinity, but uh, Ethereum could actually bottom out in the vicinity between $400 and $1,000, even though it's, I know it's FUD, it's blah, blah, blah. But the current inflation rate and the Fed's uh, hawkish policy right now, hawkish approach to raising interest rates is not giving us any hopium right now. So uh, they could be inter raising interest rates into 2023. So uh, and there are many comparisons historically uh, with what we can see and the market effects. So go and watch this previous video that I've done. Right now, let's just talk about Ethereum. Because again, even though we are seeing a short term pain, this gives us an opportunity to accumulate. So, okay, let's talk about what happened here. So basically, we saw this, you know, hopium that the merge is finally after so many years, the merge is happening. It's switching from POW to POS. Great, amazing, beautiful. And, uh, you know, it, it was like it was a buy the rumors right here and sell the news event right here. So that's why we're going down right now and we could keep going down. So and a lot of people are saying, oh, well, you know what? It failed and let's just, you know, it's a scam, you know, as always. That's what stupid people say in crypto. I mean, there is nothing, no other word to call these people. So what they don't understand is that the merge Merge, and now we're getting to the juiciest part of the video is that the merge uh, basically is like the first small piece of the puzzle. Then there will be a surge, then there will be a verge, purge, splurge at the end. And this is a plan that has been there all along. So it's like one, two, three, four, five stages. And we are currently at stage number one, which was successful. Yes, it was like an event of buy the rumors right here and then sell the news here. Sure. But does it have anything to do with the future? It's actually that the fact that the merge was successful is fucking amazing because it sets out, it lays the foundation for surge, verge, purge and splurge. I mean, how difficult is it to understand this? So let's take a look. Basically, uh, right now, the merge, the fact that it became successful, it was expected and it did cut the Ethereum's power usage by more than 99%. So it's green, it's great for institutional investors, for those who are worried about climate change and all that rubbish, you know, while reducing the assets net issuance. So basically, right now, Ethereum became deflationary. In fact, many expect the Ethereum emissions to become net negative, which it did. It became deflationary. So when there is in dollars, in fiat, there is huge inflation, which we're suffering from right now. In Ethereum, it's deflationary. So if you're holding one Ethereum, it's actually becoming theoretically more valuable because there is going to be less Ethereum with every year and every day and every minute, which is amazing. Uh, so that's why it earned its uh, nickname of ultrasound money. So the next thing, of course, this is just the beginning. This is laying the foundation of POS, you know, that we can actually build other stuff on top of it, which is going to be coming again in surge, verge, purge and splurge. So let's take a look at this one. So the next one is going to be the surge. And this is what a lot of people people complained about. They said that, well, in the merge, it didn't solve the problem with the gas fees. It still is an expensive network. It still is slow. You know, there are some other ones that are faster. It's true. But again, people don't understand what is going to come next. They don't understand, once again, that there is surge, verge, purge and splurge. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So and the next comes the surge. And this phase is going to be the one that will bring shorting to Ethereum blockchain. Shorting is a scaling solution that breaks Ethereum into separate portions or shards to spread out the network's com um, computational load. This upgrade is planned for 2023 and will roughly bring Ethereum to 85, 80% completion based on Vitalik's expectations in ju January. So this is what I've been telling you all along that uh, surge will happen in 2023, which is actually going to bring uh, scaling to Ethereum. So reducing gas fees and also um, reducing, um, increasing the speed from 30 transactions to potentially as fast as Visa and MasterCard at 100,000 transactions. And it's going to do it 
incredibly quickly so within the next 12 months okay maybe not the beginning of 2023 because it's very soon i think maybe in the middle next summer so this is when this is going to happen and it's going to be the same kind of an effect in terms of the price it's going to be potentially again by the rumors somewhere and then sell the news and then people are going to be realizing that actually Vitalik's team is doing things and it's not as slow as everybody expected. Certainly, if it's going to take again three years to complete the surge, then we could see some pain. Yes, but that's again that they've completed the merge from what I understand from my research that it's not going to be as difficult to complete the next stages. Now, the next one is going to be the verge uh, referring to the introduction of vertical trees. And this is very important. And if you want this to be more in detail, you can research this online and understand what is vertical trees. And this upgrade will involve a powerful upgrade to Merkle proofs, which optimizes data storage for uh, Ethereum nodes. It will also assist Ethereum scaling as it allows for a greater number of blockchain transactions while keeping the blockchain decentralized. So basically, it's like, again, the same thing, rollups, sharding, and the whole concept, how they've built this plan is going to, you know, into probably 2024 2025 create this incredible ultrasound money out of ethereum that the next thing is going to be the purge and it's going to be a similar upgrade to verge concerning data storage for validators aka future eth stakers it will reduce the hard drive space required for validators introducing historical data and bad debt and streamlining storage and reducing network congestion so again scaling and then the final upgrade will be the splurge a series of miscellaneous upgrades rates made simply to ensure the network runs smoothly after the prior four stages are dealt with so this is the plan merge was just the freaking beginning so now it brings us to the question what do i expect from the price in the short term let's go to the weekly short in the short term perspective i already told you we can see potential downside from anything from another 20 percent to even maybe even something as crazy as 60 percent depending on macroeconomics because the macro right now is predominant what is happening in russia russia is mobilizing forces again it's a crazy situation right now in Russia and we're going to see what's going to happen with this inf inflation and the risk of stagflation. So all of these things are understandable. So in a short term perspective, we can see a lot of pain. But when it comes to long term perspective and when I'm looking at something as, for example, the next Bitcoin um, uh, halving cycle, which, by the way, where is it? Which is, by the way, happening right here in uh, probably the first quarter of 2024 and this we already know that you know during the halving cycle we definitely are going to move higher so that's going to be definitely triggering the next bull run and if the bottom is not in yet then it's going to be in in the next probably half a year to three quarters of a year so with ethereum once we actually move down and you know find this bottom from there i believe that with the institutional adoption with everything that actually ethereum foundation is doing and vitalik is doing honestly with just quick calculation of potential market cap for ethereum and introduction of all the biggest names in smart money and blackrock working with coinbase and you know so many things happening already in terms of the adoption it's creeping in bit by bit this could be a super cycle and i'm not going to be afraid to say that potentially potentially we can do something like 8x from here and that's going to lead us to about this in this cycle this could lead us to something like ten thousand dollars per ethereum and i would probably say it's going to probably be somewhere in the vicinity of this area right here 25 2025 2024 2025 uh, closer maybe to 2026 at the latest absolutely the latest by that time definitely the inflation is going to be gone the uh, monetary easing is going to be um, uh, fully quantitative easing will be um, fully uh, in power and certainly uh, the adoption is going to be happening and more and more the regulation is going to be in from Cynthia Loomis and I think there's going to be a lot of interest from institutionals for Ethereum and I think there's going to be more of it than Bitcoin and then from for Bitcoin and I'm pretty sure that Ethereum and this is the biggest part of this video you're gonna you can hate me all you want but with everything that they are doing I'm afraid that Ethereum could reclaim the throne as the most as the biggest cryptocurrency out there and Bitcoin is gonna still be there as this store of value hedge against inflation blah 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 but in terms of 
the biggest use cases will be for Ethereum metaverse, NFTs, institutional investors, you know, deflationary asset, staking rewards because it's like dividends, etc. And fast, low gas fees, fast network itself. So that's why my modest um, expectation for Ethereum for 2025 would be about at least uh, $10,000. So for this reason, right now, when we are actually seeing some kind of a short term pullback, Imagine this gives you the opportunity to buy more and more and more. So guys, gonna link an interesting tutorial right here to BitGit where you can learn how to actually get paid on BitGit for trading and get money back from BitGit. So even if you're a breaking event trader, you will make some money. And as always, um, let me know down in the comments what do you guys think and make some noise, make some love. Join my Telegram channel, follow me on Twitter. And as always, stay smart, stay rich, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.